verbatim theatre is when the uh, actual words spoken by uh, members of the public or professionals or experts are presented on stage. I think you have to start with a topic or a, a story that inspires you as, as the creator of this verbatim piece. And then it's about researching and researching and researching. Um, a bit like you would do if you were a journalist or a documentary filmmaker. Your role is to find out as much as you can about that particular story and that's your starting point. You need to think about um, who's involved, who are the people most key to this story that, that you want to tell. Certainly in the age that we live in, information is not hard to come by. You know, you can look on the internet and, and find people talking on various subjects. You can find the transcripts of public hearings and tribunals, etc. But how they were spoken, in what manner, and in fact the scenario in which that is based is, is not as apparent or more contentious than if I was to walk out onto the street and interview a member of the public on a particular issue at the moment. If you can record your subjects, interviews or comments, you know, that's, that's fantastic because you will have a greater sense of who they are and, and where they're coming from. Partly the reason why the recordings are so valuable is that there is stuff that you can't write down. You've immediately got that tone and you're hearing the unscriptable. Of Baton plays about discovering more, is about trying to search for those answers rather than having them yourselves. So right from that word go, you are open to wherever this road is going to take you. The second process is, is taking those interviews, that source material, and then putting it together, making it into something that is ultimately a play. There's no way that you can perform all the material that, that you will have collected. So you've, you've got that question of how do I take an hour-long conversation and condense that into its purest form. It's hard, it really is hard, and it really demands you to be very accurate and, and sensitive to the material and to the person that you're representing. One of the exercises that, that I use um, and did use with that group, specific group of actors was taking the transcript and then asking them to literally reduce it to, say, five words. The five most important words, if that's all they, they could say or that's all you had time to present on stage, what would be the, the nucleus of their argument or, the, or their opinion? Now, for me, the rule is we're reshaping the words, but actually we need to keep the truth whole. So, you know, the fact that you've talked about the heart of it, the, what they're driving at, you've got, to be, you've got to be sensitive to that. Ultimately, keep asking yourself the question is, what is the story I'm trying to tell? And am I telling it in the clearest and most accurate way possible? For me as a practitioner, um, I find things easier when they're, when they're written down in a, in a transcript form um, and that recordings or, or any other source material are used to sort of back that up and to reinforce that. But actually I find working with actors when you've got a script in front of you, you can um, see things slightly more more clearly. So, you're S. I'm reading S. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, this interview is going to be used for for a verbatim theatre performance. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, would would you would suggest internet dating to any of your friends, or would you would you stick to the normal form? I'd suggest it as a, a something that you can laugh at, but I don't. I don't think it's serious. Uh, a serious way to meet people, but you know, there's so many people that meet people over the internet. But but for me, I just find it a bit too weird. Right, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Let's listen to the recording. I don't. I don't think it's serious. Uh, a serious way to meet people, but you know, there's so many people that meet people over the internet, but. For me, I just find it 
a bit too weird. I think what's really interesting is on the page, you're reading it quite quickly because the, it, it, on the page it suggests that it is one long fluid, yes. whereas actually listening to it, there are a lot of pauses there. She mm. is pausing as she's thinking, do you know what I mean? You suddenly get that real flavour of who she is and, and actually what she feels about mm. more than, 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 the, um, than the transcription. There's a responsibility to, at every stage of that process, be as accurate as, as, as you possibly can and question whether you are making a decision that is imagination rather than based on the evidence that you are presented. The theatre is, is a setup, and the choices are vast for a, a director staging of a Vatan play. How can you tell that story as clearly as possible? And that's where you sort of answer your questions about staging. Is it important that the audience know that the interview was conducted in this person's living room and they live in a certain area of a certain town and their living room looked a certain way might be very important. That might be less useful if you're dealing with themes that are less specific. Verbatim theatre is about offering something to a dialogue, offering something to a discussion that is current or important or necessary. The first part of that discussion, or that debate, is finding out the background to it you then have the challenge of trying to shape that into the story that, that you want to tell. And then it's about feeding that data into the rehearsal room to the actors. The final sense in terms of theatre is, is continuing that discussion with an audience present.